I'm Arrestria, and this is Patchwatch. Ever since the December 2015, January 2016 Toronto Gate, where we had no balance patches for over a month, and Toronto was breaking the game levels of OP, uh, Blizzard has promised that they're going to deliver more frequent, smaller uh, balance patches, and so far they've been delivering. And I decided today that maybe when these new patches come out, I should make a little video because I know some of the people who uh, watch my videos and watch Demon X videos, they're not the kind of people who are, not everybody is playing the game every day or reading the Reddit every day like I do. So, uh, only four heroes received changes in this uh, February 17 patch, and three of them had really minor changes, so I'm just going to talk about those briefly first. Uh, first was Rhaegar. Rhaegar had a nerf to one of his lightning shield talents. Um, considering Rhaegar is widely considered OP right now and his lightning shield build is the go-to build, and it doesn't seem like that big a nerf. Uh, I'm not a huge Rhaegar player, so other people might know more than me, but basically they just... I mean, it is a nerf, but... Sometimes it's, he still does a lot of damage while healing perfectly fine. Uh, next, Anubarak got a small buff, and by small buff, I mean small buff. <laughs> uh, literally, they increased the scaling. No, no. They increased the base amount of his shield. They didn't increase the scaling. Uh, <laughs> Reddit started using an abathur slap of a unit of measurement to explain how small this buff is. Basically, at level 20, you can survive an extra abathur slap. Uh, that said, it's a buff, and I would rather they make small changes to characters instead of just blowing people up and nerfing and blowing people up. Uh, next, Stitches got a small tweak to one particular talent. Uh, this is a talent that I usually took on Stitches, so it is worth noting. Uh, he has an ability called Last Bite, where, uh, his cooldown reduction, uh, like, his E ability, where he, um, takes a bite out of an enemy and gains some healing from it, uh, has a really long cooldown for a basic ability. And this talent ha has cooldown reduction for that ability, if you use it on a minion. Uh... And, as the developer's notes on the patch said, there were certain situations where Stitches was unkillable with this talent. So what they've done is instead of giving you a 15 second cooldown, it gives you a 12 second cooldown. Where to? And I'll say, as someone who sometimes plays Stitches and does play with that talent, I'd probably still take that talent. It still gives you a ton of healing, especially if you have Amplified healing. Now, you may have noticed that I've been standing around in try mode with Leeming while I've been talking. Well, that's because Leeming, predictably, received the most My attention in this patch note. Uh, most of these changes are pretty much what I was expecting or what I was hoping for. There's only one change that I'm not sure was totally necessary. The first change happens at level 1. Uh, Astral Presence. Astral Presence was OP. Like, there were two talents making her OP, and this was the first one. Right now, it's uh, your mana generation is increased by 100% when below a quarter mana. It used to be when below half mana. And if you've seen me play with Demon Egg, you realize I just don't run out of mana. Um, that said, I personally think I will still be choosing this talent because that gives you enough mana regen to get a quick teleport, and that teleport can be the difference between life and death. Uh, now here, is this the level where... Uh... Yeah, I think this is the level where they removed S of Johan. S of Johan is the other talent that was making Li Ming uh, OP. What S of Johan did was when you shoot your W, do it. it used to suck enemies in towards the middle of the W. And what that meant was your Q, which is otherwise a relatively difficult to hit skill shot, was suddenly much easier because you could control where the enemy was going to be. If you timed it right, you could Let's suck them right into the Q way. so they couldn't possibly dodge. And that was easier than they want Li Ming's skill shots to be. So they removed that talent altogether. Uh, I'm mostly just sad they didn't give us anything new, because I never really liked these. But, 
They also gave a buff to this talent, Triumvirate. Uh, basically, if you hit an enemy with your orb, with your W, and it's traveled 65% of its range, it reduces the cooldown. It used to be 80% of the range, and it used to feel like <laughs> it had to be max range. So it used to feel like you had to perfectly hit max range, and now I think it has to be... I think it has to be, like, here. To get the bonus. So that should be easier, and that's probably going to be my S of Johan replacement. Should I uh, be here? And then what was the other change? Oh, yes. Uh, so... Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Diamond skin. Diamond skin used to give you a 25% maximum health shield for four seconds, and now it gives you a 20%. <laughs> My old master uh, can see me now. Still better than nothing, and it's still pretty much the only health-related self-sustain you're going to get as Lee Ming. And then the last change they made was tell. Oopsie. Oh, was tell Russia's elements. Uh, basically, when you use Tell Russia Elements, you get these little crowns. And say I cast my Q, I get bonus damage on my next ability as long as I do not use Q twice in a row. So if I use W, I will still get the increased damage as long as I don't use W. Uh, now, this used to be a 20% uh, bonus damage. Uh, they scaled that down pretty massively. It's down to 10% bonus. Uh, I typically take Temporal Flux, so it's not going to hurt me, but I know that this was kind of the go-to talent. Uh, and it, it's kind of sad because it is it a really fun and interesting playstyle option. Oh, level 30 Li Ming is a little crazy at killing structures. Thankfully, Li Ming usually doesn't get to level 30. Alright, uh, that's all of the patch notes this time around. Uh... They've been doing patches every week or so now, so I guess I'll see you next week. Bye bye Derp de derp I forgot to mention that Li Ming's Magic Missiles received a damage nerf as well, and that's the only part that I really had a problem with, Why not? because they already nerfed how easy it was to hit that ability, and I'm not sure they needed to nerf the hit ability and the damage all in the same patch. Maybe they were trying to reduce her ability to early game kill forts, but I'm not sure. Anyway, for reals bye-bye this time. Not ready to leave yet? You can watch me play more HOTS, watch me play HOTS with Demonac, or watch Demonac and I fight over what show to watch in Anime Indecision.